you're a stronger man. What makes you cry, Joyce? Oh, you know, many things. On a more public side, I'll say suffering, inequality, injustice of any kind, poverty. Still makes me cry. Mm. Lack of access still makes me cry. Lack of opportunity for those who really need it still makes me cry. Lack of enough resources to go around everybody will still make me cry. But on a very personal side, you know I'm one of those individuals that I, I mean, look, in everything that we do, God must have a very special plan for your life. Mm. So I had this beautiful dream that, yes, I may have married very late, but I was going to have this very beautiful family, three lovely kids, very early on, a wonderful career, just the kind of life that I imagined. Maybe I didn't want to have such like my mother, but I thought three would be beautiful. So yes, you do get married, and then I realized in a few weeks, actually, I'll be married for probably 20 or 21 years, I think. Oh, wow. Yes, and to think that my son is only just 16, mm -hmm. I should tell you, just how long it took even before we had Your our first, first son. son. And how much longer it took before, between that first son and my amazing blessings or mm -hmm. my life story, as I call them. So think about it. 16 years. Wow. Yes. And that story is a subject for another day. We can, we can summarize yes. it here. When I tell you my journey. Tell us your journey. secondary infertility, mm -hmm. whose course nobody could establish the hospitals I've been to, the specialists I've had to engage, the number of times I've had to have direct insemination or in vitro fertilization. I think with the in vitro fertilization treatments, I probably went through hmm, maybe about 15, 16 of them between 2008, yes. You did 15 IVFs? Oh, yes, maybe even more, yes. And just as many surgeries, maybe about three, four in between, just to be sure that everything was okay. Wow. Yes. So the only uneventful period for my life may have been between when I got married and when I had Camille. But even before I had Camille, I had to have major surgery because there was a need to have some corrective procedure. And yes, the doctor was right. Immediately after that surgery, a few months later, even contrary to doctor's advice, I found that I'd gotten pregnant and had him without any issues. I mean, I worked right through till the day he was born. I would not even remember now.